Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. We're going to talk about the consequence of gaining weight while on prednisone. And so this is following up from last week when we talked about how prednisone causes weight gain. So today we will talk about um, the st statistics about prednisone weight gain and um, the consequences of side effects of weight gain. Next, we'll talk about how the drug um, causes these consequences from the weight gain. And finally, we'll talk about even though you're gaining weight, you are being nutritionally deficient. So we'll talk about what nutrients are being affected and then we'll get into more details there. I wanted to show you my personal experience with prednisone. So you can see on this chart, this is my blood glucose over time. So first of all, you can see in on the left side, do you see numbers from 75 to 110? That's the milligrams per deciliter of blood glucose. That just shows how much sugar was floating around in my blood. And then the bottom shows the time period. So from September 2017 till July 2018. And then you can see when I was taking prednisone, which was from how, like a, a week before Halloween until June of 2018. And then I also had chemo with rituximab during April of 2018. So you can see what happened to my sugar levels. Before and after prednisone, my sugar levels hovered around the high 80s. While I was on prednisone, it bumped up at least 10, if not 15 or 25 points. And anything below 100 was normal. So I was hovering above normal. I had hyperglycemia and hyperglycemia is the biggest risk factor for diabetes. So I had I continued on prednisone, I was increasing my risk for diabetes. The first statistic to share with you about prednisone and how it causes the consequences from weight gain is somebody on taking prednisone has a 10 times increased risk for high blood sugar who's taking over 30 milligrams a day. Now I was in that situation for quite a bit because I had taper after taper after taper and each time they'd take me back up that high or higher. I started out at 60 milligrams. So um, that means that normal person has one risk and you on prednisone over 30 milligrams have a 10 times increased risk of high blood sugar. Well, so what? Who cares? Let's find out what difference that makes. If you're on high doses of prednisone, you have a four times greater risk of getting diabetes. And that's a problem. We all know getting diabetes is not only unpleasant because you'll likely have to um, give yourself insulin shots and have lots and lots of complications in your life, um, but it leads to, the combination of those two leads to a greater risk of hypertension of four times. And hypertension leads to cardiovascular disease, such as stroke and heart attack. So each of these numbers are reflected of how much prednisone creates that effect on its own, but they are all related. And let me show you how. First of all, you take prednisone. Next, it causes a metabolism change. It causes your blood sugar to be constantly elevated. And if you want to know how that works, you can watch last week's episode then that high blood sugar can lead to diabetes, which can lead to high blood pressure, which can lead to cardiovascular disease, 
and strokes and heart attacks and death. And the diabetes is not um, like type 1 diabetes where there's a lack of insulin. It's where the high blood sugar is leading to the pancreas having to put out a lot of insulin to get rid of all that sugar. And that excess insulin makes the rest of the cells in our bodies resistant to the insulin. And just having high insulin floating around in your body is a risk factor for many things like cancer as well. So it's a miserable slippery slope here. What else happens? So as discussed in the past, sodium is increased. So having a high sodium leads to that swelling, that water retention, that um, water weight gain on its own. And that's because the kidneys are holding on to the sodium or the salt instead of letting it go in the urine. And sodium and potassium work together. When one of them is high, then your body makes the other one go low so that your balance of salt in your blood stays the same. So because the sodium's going high, the potassium is dropping. So you might have low potassium as well. And both of those together lead to high blood pressure. Next, um, the cholesterol increases and that leads to cardiovascular disease. Going back up to the top, we have chromium. And this is a mineral, a, a metal, that is a trace mineral in our bodies. And low chromium is associated with diabetes. And when people have enough chromium, their insulin levels and sugar levels tend to be lower. So chromium has an effect on keeping blood sugar steady. And prednisone has an effect on chromium of getting rid of it. So which came first, prednisone making the chromium disappear or low chromium leads to high blood sugar from the prednisone? It's a, it's a tough question to figure out the answer to. No matter what, we need more chromium. Next is magnesium. So magnesium has effects all over the body. It helps with the heart um, muscle knowing when to, when to contract. It helps with the muscles knowing when to contract. And it has effects on keeping the blood sugar steady and on keeping the correct bone mass. So two side effects of prednisone include high blood sugar and osteoporosis. And so having low magnesium can lead to both of those problems. Finally, we're talking about calcium. Now calcium has been studied to help in, um, with weight loss. It's very minimal weight loss, but it just shows that there is an effect with calcium and the weight regulation. So when the weight gain goes up and the calcium is down, that can lead to osteoporosis. And prednisone is the number one drug cause of osteoporosis. The doctors who prescribe prednisone the most, called rheumatologists, like rheumatoid arthritis, they suggest that everyone who is taking prednisone should be supplementing with calcium and vitamin D. So I'd suggest that um, you find a way to get the correct nutrients while you're taking prednisone to eat a diet low in sodium, high in potassium, that means lots of fruits and vegetables, high in chromium, high in magnesium, and high in calcium. So we will talk more about how to get the correct nutrients next week. Okay, so what other questions do you have about prednisone causing weight gain? If you can comment below, that would be great. And then I can answer those in a future episode.